And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, uh, we will go through the stat leaders in both the NFL and in college football as well. Um, something I haven't done in a while, or something I would do like every single week, um, but I kind of stopped doing it because uh, nothing really was changing. It was kind of just like the same, you know, players were at the top like every single week. So I think that's kind of why I, I stopped uh, stopped doing it. But you know, things have changed. Uh, somewhat since then I, I can't even remember the last time i'd have to go look back and, and see but um so we'll start in the nfl uh so we'll look at passing yards so right now sam howell for the uh i almost said the washington football team the washington commanders uh he leads the nfl in passing yards uh with 3,339 passing yards then you have cj stroud with 3,266 passing yards josh allen uh, 3,214 passing yards. Uh, Tua Tungavailoa, 3,177 passing yards. And then Jared Goff, um, 3,075 passing yards. Um, other than Washington, uh, all those teams are in contention for playoffs, for the playoffs. Um, obviously, Miami and Detroit are leading their divisions. Uh, Buffalo and the Texans are... Uh, on the outside looking in, trying to get themselves uh, into a playoff spot. Texans are in a better spot than the Bills at the moment. Um, the Bills have a very tough schedule coming up. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, Sam Howell, he's thrown for a lot of yards this year. I think Washington does have something with him. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens moving forward, especially like I just talked about in the last segment. I mean, you know, Ron Rivera, you know, he's on his way out. So, you know, we'll see what the uh, the commanders do at the end of the year and who, they, uh, who the new head coach is going to be. I say they appoint uh, or promote uh, enemy to, uh, you know, being the head coach, but that's just me. Um, then uh, you go to a passer rating. Brock Purdy um, is in first with that. He's got a 112.3 passer rating. Kirk Cousins at number two, 103.8. Uh, I mean, it's, again, unfortunate because he was having a really good year. And, uh, you know, actually he came out and said, like, he, you know, didn't know it was just the last time that he was going to play football when he got hurt. But um, he's in a, he's in a better place um, with what he said afterwards. He's like, uh, you know, well, he said he's in a better place now. Um, he, he feels like that uh, that's not the case. Um, that was weird how I worded that. Uh, but, yeah, he... Um, He's going to try to come back next year, so hopefully he does, um, you know, and the Vikings bring him back, um, you know, because, I mean, he the Vikings really turned it around, and, uh, you know, him getting hurt, that really uh, was unfortunate for them. We also got Tua, who's, uh, um, you know, a tenth behind him. He has a 103.7 passer rating. Uh, Tua's been good, although, you know, wasn't great on Black Friday. Uh, you know, he had the two picks and the fumble. Um, but he's been solid for the Dolphins this year, and uh, I don't know how far they're going to go. I don't. I don't think they're going to make it to the Super Bowl, but you never know. Uh, with the playmakers they have on offense, you never know. Uh, but give him credit; he's been uh, he's been good this year. Russell Wilson, you know, you talk about people were talking about how, you know, even with the stats, they were like, yeah, you know, Russell Wilson's really just not playing good. Um, but he has. I mean, the touchdown to interception ratio is good. Um, you know, he's got, a you know, 103.4 passer rate. Yeah, top five in passer rating. I mean, that's good. You know, he's been playing better this year uh, as opposed to last year. And the Broncos right now, they're another team that's, uh, you know, trying to make a playoff push here. Uh, C.J. Stroud, top five as well. He's got a 100.8. Um, that's your offensive rookie of the year right there, C.J. Stroud. Uh, then you look at rushing yards. I mean, there's no surprise here. Who's at the top? Christian McCaffrey, 939 uh, rushing yards. Uh, leads the NFL. Then you got Raheem Mostert, who's got 785 rushing yards. DeAndre Swift uh, has 770. Derrick Henry has 739. And Zach Moss is still top five. I, I thought he'd be out of the top five. He's got 672 rushing yards. Um, and now, I mean, that's going to go up now with Jonathan Taylor, you know, missing the next couple of games, at least, you know, with him having to... You know, miss time with a thumb injury. Um, yeah, I, I mean, 
he's uh, he's been a surprise this year, definitely. Um, because with the Bills, he was like their like number three back. Like he really just you know he really didn't do anything with the Bills. Then he went to the Colts and he just you know became a you know a top five runner. And uh, well, in terms of rushing rushing yards, uh, but that just goes to show you how there's really not a lot of like elite um, running backs uh, this year. I mean, because you got Zach Moss. I mean, I don't want to disrespect Zach Moss, but yeah, I mean, you got Raheem Mostert, who's you know 31 years old. I mean, and he has an injury history, but he's been he's been really good for the Dolphins. Um, you know, obviously you got Derrick Henry on here, but yeah, there's like not a lot of elite running backs. If you really think about it, um, you know, guys coming off of injuries uh, from the previous year, like Tony Pollard, for example, um, you know, he's starting to play better. But, yeah, I mean, and some teams, they have more than one running back that they rely on. Um, you know, and obviously some guys are banged up. Like Aaron Jones really hasn't played that much this year for the Packers. Um, you know, Saquon's been out. He's missed time. Um but yeah, it, it's it's interesting, you know, the running back position because obviously, you know, and also Nick Chubb, you know, getting hurt earlier in the season as well. Like, it's a weird year for uh, for running backs, um, you know, especially with you know them, you know, dealing with all the contract stuff in the off season, uh, you know, how they've wanted more money. Um, but yeah, that's uh, you know the running back position for you. Uh, so that was the rushing yards, receiving yards. Tyree Kill uh, is the number one in uh, the number one spot in receiving. Has thirteen hundred yards receiving. Uh, Keenan Allen second. C.D. Lamb in third. A.J. Brown four. D.J. Moore five. Uh, listen, we'll see if Tyree Kill could get to, to uh, two thousand yards. Uh, still got some time. I, he needs like a two hundred plus uh, receiving yard game. Um, and then I definitely, uh, you know, feel confident that he will, uh, he'll get to 2,000. But it's definitely going to be, it's going to be really close. But, um, you know, as long as he, uh, you know, doesn't get hurt, um, I, I think, uh, I think he should get it. But again, it's going to be close. Uh, then we go to sacks leaders. Daniel Hunter has 13 and a half sacks tied with uh, TJ Watt of the Steelers. who's got 13 and a half sacks. You got Miles Garrett. With 13, Khalil Mack with 13, and Josh Allen uh, with the, Josh Allen of the Jaguars, uh, he's got 12. Um, and then you go to interceptions. Uh, Deron Bland of the Cowboys um, has the most pick six now, uh, all time in a single season. I think it's right with five, right? Yeah, he did it. He did it on Thanksgiving. Um, then you got a Stone for the Ravens at two, uh, Adebo for the Saints, Jesse Bates, and Taylor Britt. Of the Bengals, uh, they're all tied for four uh, interceptions, and then with tackles, you got Roquan Smith at the top, uh, Edwards of the uh, of the Bears, and second Zaire Franklin of the Colts, Aluakan of the, uh, the Jaguars, and then C.J. Mosley of the Jets. Um, those are your uh, tackling leaders. But yeah, those are all the uh, yeah T.J. Edwards of the uh, of the Bears. So yeah, that's all the. Um, those are the stat leaders for uh, the NFL. So now let's get into uh, the college rankings. So you got some Heisman Trophy uh, candidates. Uh, so you got Michael Penix of Washington. So he currently uh, leads the way um, with 3,899 passing yards. Um, then you got Jaden Daniels of LSU, uh, 3,800 yard or 3,812 passing yards. Caleb Williams of USC has 3,633. Passing yards, Drake May, uh, UNC, uh, 3,608 passing yards. And then you got Shadu Sanders of, uh, hopefully I pronounced that right, uh, Deion Sanders, son of Colorado, 3,230 yards um, passing. So that's uh, the passing yards category. Then you go to passer rating, you got Jaden Daniels, who's got a 200 point, 208 um, passer rating. I mean, it's that. I mean, that's just insane uh, when it comes to college. Then you got uh, Bo Nix of Oregon, one hundred and eighty nine point eight. Then of Liberty, uh, Salder has a uh, one hundred seventy nine point two passer rating. JJ McC uh, McCarthy of Michigan, one hundred seventy six point eight. 
And then uh, Pratt of Tulane has 164.9. Um, then for rushing yards, uh, Ollie Gordon II has 1,579 rushing yards for Oklahoma State. Hampton for UNC has 1,400, uh, 1,442 rushing yards. Um, then uh, for Toledo, uh, Boone has uh, 1,359 um, rushing yards. Penny Boone. Um, now I just clicked out of the stats. My bad. Um, then you go to um, the next for the Georgia State uh, Panthers, Marcus Carroll. Uh, he's got um, – I keep clicking out of it now for some reason. Uh, he's got 1,350 uh, rushing yards. And then um, uh, for Troy, uh, you got Vidal. Uh, he's got 1,350 yards as well. Um, so those are your top five. A Kimani Vidal for Troy, the Troy Trojans. Trojans. Um, so those are the uh, the rushing yards. Then uh, we move on and we go to receiving yards. So you got Malik Napers um, for LSU. He's got 1,546 uh, receiving yards. Uh, you got Washington um, for Virginia. He's got 1,426. Aduce, um, he's got 1,326. Uh, Lacey, not Eddie Lacey, um, he's got 1,316 um, receiving yards uh, for the South Am Alabama Jaguars. Um, so that's the uh, so that's the top four at least. Then um, for uh, for FAU, you got Wester uh, with 1,168 uh, receiving yards. Um, I cannot pronounce. Lejante Wester, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, the pronunciations for some of these names, I just, I'm, I'm just so bad at that. Um, then interceptions, uh, you got Xavier Watts uh, for Notre Dame, he's got seven. Uh, Holman for Wisconsin's got six. Uh, Grant for Buffalo has five. Uh, Green for Liberty, he's got five. And uh, for Kentucky, uh, Hairston has five. Uh, but yeah, those are all your uh, your stats leaders for. Uh, for college, um, and yeah, that's basically all the stat leaders uh, for both college and for the uh, for the NFL as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the show today. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, tomorrow week thirteen kicks off between the Cowboys and the Seahawks. Um, so you know, obviously, we'll preview that. We'll have some other stuff to cover as well tomorrow. Uh, look out for the shorts that'll come out later today throughout the day for both football and baseball um you know uh we're, we're hoping that uh, we get some more news with baseball um obviously we got the show on friday double header on friday um i'm also going to repost yesterday's show uh into the into the four parts so that'll come out at some point today so look out for that in case you missed anything from yesterday's show and um and yeah that's pretty much it so um you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the show for today. I uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, and yeah, make sure to tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Of course, uh, we'll be back. Um, like I said, we'll preview uh, the game tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, like you know, already halfway through the week already. Weeks are flying by, um, and uh, you know, they're never gonna slow down. They're just gonna keep going faster and faster. Um, but yeah, so uh, then again, and also I want to remind you guys, you know, when it comes to comments, you know, tip or donate, make sure to go to the following link as displayed on the bottom, streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.slash tip. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for today. So once again, uh, I'm Kenneth Gruenfelder, signing off from the GSMC football podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.